Hello, <coughs> very good morning racing folks. Uh, welcome to the Bangalore Pre Derby Day. Total of 16 races for two days folks. You can't win them all. Today eight races you can discard first and the last race folks. Uh, that will give you the option of six races. Out of the six, four looks good. Out of the four you can decide two, three races and make some money for yourself rather than uh, giving back to the bookies or the photographers. <laughs> All the trainers, all the owners always wish that they win their horses on the derby day. So needless to say, they all on try. It's not that it's not on job, on job, all nonsense. Uh, that is the best part of the derby weekend at any center, folks. Uh, uh, Ram Swami has some good horses. Uh, Arjun Mangalorkar has. Rajan Agrawal, bit unlucky this season, has a couple of good horses for the day. Uh, tomorrow also. So be selective, folks. Uh, you can't really win. Also read the medical report, folks. Uh, if you are on this uh, machine called myopathy, just uh, Google uh, Vasudev, Google uncle, you will get to know what myopathy or, or uh, sesamoiditis are. Uh, stay away from the medical patient. Basically, you want to bet uh, your tenor on a sound horse folks that's the whole idea as it is it is difficult to find a winner and then you get a medical patient so it becomes even more difficult going straight to the races folks 15th july 2023 bangalore the first race the squanderer cup man i remember that squanderer very nice horse rashid Bairamji used to train won the derby for ranjit but he was also a very lucky owner like rajan agarwal is what today is uh, it's a class 5B race, folks. Uh, it's always a no-no for me. Sarai, there's a horse called Sarai. is a younger one. He's a three-year-old. He's running in the... Uh, he's run with Alpenor and whatnot, muzzle toe and Galactus and all. Uh, I don't know what the hell is he doing in this class to begin with. Aravind, the G train, Saklain rides it. I give it a small chance. But, and there's a horse called Bellissimo. I don't know, I, I, I totally discard this race as if it exists, folks. The second race, the Delhi Cup, folks. It's a mile race for class four. It's basically a three-way affair, folks, between August and Snowpiercer and Golden Peaks, folks. Um, the rest of the horses are also good, but these three kind of stand out. August is a very well-bred horse, multi-dimensional, majestic opinion. He kind of ran uh, with Jameri only four and three quarters length behind. And uh, he gets a John and Arjun Mangalorkar's favorite. And Rajan Agrawal, um, also part owner. Uh, he, they, he, he loves to take photographs on the Derby Day. Who would not? If you owned a horse, you would also want the same thing. Uh, there is a horse called Snow Piercer. I like this horse. It's by excellent art out of Ice Glacier. Unala owns it. Yesterday also, excellent art baby one. They improve folks uh, uh, after the first run. Trevor rides him. Atahuli, Suleiman, Atahuli trains. The Golden Peaks, um, uh, only problem is uh, Miss, uh, Mrs. Parvati Bairamji trains. So, I don't know, they work their horses too hard, too fast. So, that's the only issue. I think the race safekeeping, there is also Ramu's cat whiskers. You can give it an outside place chance. But I'll go with snow piercer. Uh, third race, folks, it's the 1200 meters, the Indian Pattern Committee Trophy Division 1. Technically speaking, Aralina is Anna Jana. His mother is Anna Lia. She was very good mayor. I remember her quite well. By speaking of which, and Anna Lia, only zero a big concern would be you would hardly get 45 50 paisa if you do don't bet if you get 70 65 70 you bet i doubt it very much because rajan agarwal is going to bang the watch i think last time it also opened favorite i was kind of surprised but after the race it made sense that he only lost on the post to a very nice horse she can uh, in a classic race folks uh, there's a horse who can follow her. His horse called Miracle Mary. It's by Planetaire. 
have to Java. The rest are are, are so so horses books. Uh, uh, you can uh, Aralina is Anna Jana like the mother Anna Lia name is. The fourth race book, the Mysore Cup for 1400 meters, seven per long race. Made in three years old, uh, horses who have run at least thrice but not placed second, third or fourth, even once in, in, ineligible. Strange as it is. The horse I really like in this race, this is also a two-way affair, folks. Uh, the horse between Aladiva and Wonder Woman. Aladiva, it was really very good looking. I was confused in that uh, Prana race. I think uh, it was just given a soft run. It would have been closer, uh, not beaten the winner. But anyways, this is by Rodrigo Connor out of Commonwealth. It's a good horse. Uh, then there is a Wonder Woman. Is a Suleiman Atoli trains. Akshay Kumar rides. Uh, is a second to a horse called Long Lees, which is also a very impressive uh, surface form, folks. Uh, then there is Ramu's Art Gallery. I have a feeling Ramu is going to do some uh, hidden horses would come out of the closet today. Anyways, I I'll go with Aldiva if looks and the odds are bettable. That is, and maybe uh, hedge a Wonder Woman. Folks, this hedging and cover bet is good if the odds permit. Folks, uh, the reason I'm still in the game is I do hedge like yesterday. One good bet left, but I had a, a place bet at a two to one as a hedge bet. Uh, that, that that worked out in my favor. So, the difference between winner and the play, second horse box is only few seconds, and the way the track is, and the jockeys could make a mistake. Uh, these are not in your hand, my hand. It becomes difficult. So, if the odds permit, if the odds don't permit, then uh, I know most of you don't like to bet two horses, but I always cover my ass. Uh, Either one place bet if, if the odds are okay, that is. Otherwise, no. Anyway, anyway, going to the fifth race, folks. It's the Chennai Cup uh, for a, a class two, a mile race. It is. Regency Smile is coming from dropping from class one. That class one r run was very good, folks. But carrying a top weight of 61.5 kilos, John rides him. John fits like a glove in top weight horses, folks. No question about it. This race is, a, in my opinion, not much bettable because I can make a case of four horses and, and a small field. Last wish is also another one. Prince Abir, if they like going, gets very soft. He won. He likes this kind of going. There's a horse who can really deserve this. Is Santorino. Yes, Saklin, uh, I think, made a big mistake last time. I think he's suspended because of this. He took the horse out way, way, way too soon, and the horse had no gas uh, when it came to the he kind of stand stood still. I thought uh, he'd won. I'd bet. I had a big bet on him. Uh, I think he can. He he'll be very much in the Santorino. Then there is a place Vendome. But you look at the medical uh, report. Uh, he has a tendon issue uh, developed in June. So big no-no for me, folks. Uh, um, also, he has a breathing uh, laryngeal abnormality. I use it is a roarer. <laughs> when they work in the morning, you should go sometimes, folks. Uh, uh, in the morning, if you get a chance, you get an idea what a roarer is. Uh, then there is place Vendome. He uh, kind of a runs. Is I mean. Uh, Thing. Then there is Fortunate Son, sorry. Fortunate Son is a very strange looking horse. Um, M.K. Jadav trains. Uh, he's running at a very tidy handicap. He'll try to run away with this race or kind of open up four five lines and all. That's what he used to do in Pune. I don't know what the instructions would be. But I'll give a small chance to Santorino, then second bet Fortunate Son and Regency Smile book. Race number six, the RR Bairamji Memorial Cup, folks, uh, 1400 meters high. What a trainer, Mr. Rashid Bairamji. Most of you probably were not in the racing at that time. Uh, there's a horse called Fast Pace, folks. Uh, Prithviraj trains him in Jarvan Rides. He, uh, he has a very <laughs> good form. Uh, he has beaten some very good horses. 
uh, he's been very much in. This race is very, very open, folks. I can make a case out of four, five horses in this. Uh, then there is a horse called Zar. Arjun Mengrolkar on the uh, uh, reco- uh, trainer's interview on a record saying, of all these horses for the Derby weekend, Zar has worked the best. So one run was very impressive. Then there is Sir Cecil Galahad, a very, very attractive looking horse actually, you know. The was one horse I really like is Lazarus, but the odds has to go up for me because I need to cover a bet in this. Uh, <coughs> Lazarus is by my favorite horse, uh, Maisha, Pacey used to train, and also one of my favorite sire who unfortunately passed away, Admirality, very, very, very. He throws very good horses. Mehrush Debu owns it, basically Pacey's own connections, own it, and Pacey trains it. Pacey is on the record saying he's working well. He worked well last time also. But Pacey also on the record saying that in Bangalore you need a run. Um, so now he has a run. He's also working very extremely well. Somebody mentioned to me that he bled. I don't see it in the book, though. Uh, maybe it's true, I, I, I don't know. Anyway, then there is a horse called Prana. So look very, very attractive. He won that way also. I think the race, Lazarus, Prana and Fast Pace, these three horses, I will closely look in the paddock at the side. The seventh race book is the Kolkata Club, 1400 meters class 3. Victoria Punch last run was very, very <laughs> confusing. I don't know what the hell she was doing on the back of it. I don't know why inquiry is not open on this horse. Uh, English Bay also kind of won. Uh, I, I, I bet him in a place. This horse called In You We Believe. I like Rajan Agarwal zone. Prasanna Kumar trains, Trevor rides. Uh, he needs a very fast pace. He just may get it. The last 200 meter dash of In You We Believe is unbelievable. He comes like a express train uh, and traffic jam, this, that, no, all kinds of things. But it could be very much in the game, folks. Then there is a horse called Sirenius, uh, um, Paddy. So I don't know why Paddy is suspended for two years. Some personal vendetta somebody uh, on the uh, stewards committee must have. And why the hell Paddy at this age is almost a retirement age, has to use some medication I don't understand anyway I don't understand Indian racing uh, too much any then there is horse called Iridani folks he, he kind of got the big betting last time huge betting uh, so they 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 must be so called unquote quote unquote job for sure a herring you can forget folks uh, he has some problem also now suspensory is detected and all so I always had laid a herring he has been favorite a couple of times. Uh, there is a goofy horse in here that I would maybe bet is a horse called Honey Girl. When they change the name, folks, sometimes it does bring luck. Pradeep Anaya trains is an old horse called name, but tough uh, cookie. Uh, she also bet down big, but she she is a gate actress, and uh, she didn't come out of the gate. This time, the this character Pradeep Anaya is on a record saying, given enough gate practices. And the mock race was very, very impressive, folks. I, I would definitely bet she looked good in the paddock uh, uh, in place, uh, uh, hoping that she gets out of the gate. Uh, uh, that's what that is. Race number eight, folks, is the Indian Patent Committee uh, Trophy Division 2, Class 4. But believe me, the horse is more like Class 5B, folks. This horse called Clement. I, last run was okay, but these these are not reliable horses, folks. Uh, as I said, you know, first and last race, you uh, please ignore. Out of these other six, I have noted, uh, you know, Aldiva, Snowpiercer, uh, Lazarus, and Prana. These are very good race horses, and if, if you watch permit, uh, these are two, three races, uh, two, two race horses, like you can shortlist. Bet one and head. You have a good one, folks. Uh, 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 the Derby weekend, so take it easy. Uh, tomorrow also good horses. Select, be selective. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.